legends, bull ass superstars. It's round 11 and let's pick some losers. And those losers are kicking off tonight at Marvel Stadium, 7.30 p.m. It is going to be a belter of a round of footy and a belter of a game. Western Bulldogs, Sydney Swans. It is the 2000 and 16 Premiership all tied up again. Two teams at their powers at the moment. The Western Bulldogs, we thought, were absolutely cooked. And the Sydney Swans can do no wrong whatsoever. Now, if this game was at the MCG, I would go Sydney. If this game was at the SEG, I would go Sydney. But because this game is being played at Marvel Stadium, the fast deck that the Doggies love to dominate at, I am going with the Western Bulldogs to cause a little bit of an upset at their home ground tonight, meaning the Sydney Swans will be the loser for only the second time this year. And who would have thought that Sydney would have their only loss against Richmond? Who would have thunk heading into a massive round 11? So that means Sydney are going to lose for the second time. Won't make a difference. They'll still be at the top of the ladder. They'll still be the benchmark. But I just think the Western Bulldogs, uh, Bebo's let them out of the cage and they are barking and howling at the moon and they'll be howling a beautiful W tonight. So Sydney, second loss for them coming up. Right, Friday, the 8.10 p.m. game up the stadium. What an absolute corker this is going to be as well. Fremantle versus Collingwood. Fremantle have been a little bit up and down recently, but I will say something. Their midfield is firing a little bit nicely, and we know what Collingwood are doing to virtually everybody they play at the moment. But Fremantle... Over in Fremantle is a different kettle of fish altogether. And I've just got a sneaky suspicion that this could be the game that we expect a lot out of them, and I think we will get them. So I am going with a bit of an upset here. The Western Bulldogs to take out the Collingwood Magpies by mm, two goals or less, meaning that the Pies will be going down as losers for another time in 2024, and Fremantle maybe cementing uh, a top eight position if they possibly could get back on the winner's list this week. Right, yeah. This game is virtually a buy. North Melbourne Football Club versus Port Adelaide, Saturday, 1.45 p.m. at uh, Blunderstone Arena, all down in Chile, Tasmania. Let's just go with this. Port Adelaide, they're going to win. North Melbourne, oh, geez, where could this go? Let's uh, pick a number out of the hat. They'll go down by 10 goals. Right, simple as that. We're going to move on to the next one. Now, we've gone from boiled lollies. Here are the chocolates. Carlton versus the Gold Coast Football Club. Two teams that have played pretty good football so far this year, but had their ups and downs. This one is going to be at Marvel Stadium, 1.45 p.m. In my humble opinion, will be one of the games of the round. Now, we know that Gold Coast have played sensationally over the last couple of weeks up there in Northern Territory, but this is under the roof at Marvel on Carlton's main home deck. I know they want to move to the G, but they play their footy here. This is where Kerno can dominate, De Koning can dominate, Walsh can dominate, Cripps can dominate, and we know the Harry Mackay as well too. They're starting to get a few more down in the back end of the team. McGovern back uh, has been massive for them. But I will say this about Gold Coast. I reckon that Dim has been pumping them up for this game. I think that they've been looking at it going, we need to take a scalp. They really do need to take a top eight quality scalp. Now, I know what they did to Geelong last week, but Geelong rested a few. That was that game was worked out beforehand. So I think the Gold Coast Football Club need to win this one, and I'm going with an upset. I'm saying the Gold Coast Football Club to win this one, meaning Carlton are going to lose. They are going to be my loser by less than a goal. And Noah Anderson to have an absolute blind up through the middle. And I think if they get their slick ball movement going, Carlton will not be able to stop them. And I'm going with the uh, Carlton Football Club to lose this one by a goal. Rightio, here's another cracker of a game. 4.35, it's almost a sweet spot of AFL football these days. You know which game I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Geelong Football Club. I'm talking about the GWS Giants battling it out there at Cardinia Park, or otherwise known as GMHBA Stadium. Uh, we know what happened to GWS, got beaten beautifully by the Western Bulldogs last week. Geelong got absolutely dominated by the Western Bulldogs last week. Two teams who have been in relatively poor form over the last month or so. So, who do we go with? Do we go with the GWS that we know and expect? Or do we go with uh, Geelong, who really play a different brand of football when they are down at their home deck 
down there at uh, Sleepy Hollow. Hmm. Well, how about I go with my second upset for this weekend? Geelong, you're going to lose again this week. I just think that I don't trust you at the moment. And it's been really strident to say that because I know that you're getting quite a few back. Uh, Cameron will be back. You're looking at um, Hawkins being back as well too. But I just like what GWS are doing. Yeah, they've had a bit of a lull, but if they get back their early season form, they will obviously take this one out. And we saw a couple of weeks ago what Port did to Geelong down there as well too. So I'm saying Geelong are going to lose this one. And this is going to be another game by less than a goal. And don't be surprised if Toby Green has one of those games that nobody saw coming and kicks an absolute bag. And when I talk a bag, I'm talking six, probably maybe that a uh, four to five range, I'd say. But yeah, Joey Long to lose this one against the Giants. All right. Dream time at the G, 7.40 p.m. at the MCG. We know this is the traditional one between Richmond and Essendon. Normally, they've been great games. It'll be a great game to celebrate Sir Doug Nichols' round. It will not be a great game on paper. Essendon, another soft kill. Got to give the Bombers some credit. They have been magnificent so far in 2024. And they're going to continue the pain they're going to be causing teams. Richmond, you're going to lose this one. Similar to North, it'll be 10 goals. Uh, and I can see Jake Stringer getting off the chain here as well too. And he can actually kick himself a Pam Shriver as well too. Five in, in there as well. And don't be surprised if I see Peter Wright dropping in for uh, a quarter himself too. So Richmond, 10 goal loss. Let's move it on to the next game. Hawthorne, Brisbane Lions. A few people said Sunday at Marvel Stadium. Yes, I'm talking Marvel Stadium. Hawks versus Brisbane Lions. I don't think I've ever had that combination ever in the seven years that we've been doing this at Tipped Out. Brisbane Lions, great soft kill against Richmond last week. Hawthorne absolutely blew it against Port Adelaide, and they'll be hungry for more. Could they do it two weeks in a row? I don't think so. I think the, the, the quality under the deck at Marvel, Brisbane should be just way too good for them. I think their forwards, if they are on fire, will beat uh, Hawthorne's forwards. And I think if they're back line fire as well, too, it's going to be a little bit difficult for, for Hawthorne to be able to, to... I'm really looking forward to them two midfields belting the living suitcases out of each other as well, too. Newcomb versus Neil will be an absolute ripper to watch. And Josh Weddle, you are an absolute gun as well, too. But I'm going Hawthorne to lose this one. I don't think it's going to be as big as most people think. I'll probably go no more than probably four goals uh, for the Hawks to lose this one. Um, but it could be eight. Don't be surprised if they do get over the line. That's the only one I can see it actually happening. Rightio, Sunday, 3.20 p.m. at the MCG, Melbourne versus St. Kilda. Melbourne, absolutely putrid. My team, boys, shocking last week against the West Coast. Disgraceful, even. Uh, St. Kilda, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what Ross is doing with you, uh, but you are pretty ugly to watch as well, too. So you've got two teams that were extremely putrid last week coming up against each other. So who's the trust factor with? I have to go with Melbourne have the trust factor only because it is at the MCG. And when they do play at the G, they play a different brand of football. So I'm going with St. Kilda to lose this one. I can probably see this one being six goals if they do decide to really pull their finger out. You're going to get Langdon back. They are getting Van Royen back as well too. So that's going to add a little bit more firepower and run that the D's needed, which they didn't have last week. Please move Petty to the back line now that Jake Lever's not there. Otherwise, I can see Tomlinson coming in uh, and St. Kilda. I just think it's going to be another week of misery for you. All right, last game of the weekend. And I don't think it's going to be a bad one. If the West Coast Eagles versus Adelaide, 4.40 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval is anything that I expect from the two teams from last week. Adelaide... We're really, really good against Collingwood. Really stiff to lose it. These things happen. West Coast can't fault what they did. They destroyed my mob. They destroyed the Ds. And if that our West Coast Eagles team turns up to Adelaide, I would actually say watch out Adelaide. But I, once again, the trust factor and the history is just not there at the moment. They played out of their skins last week, and I don't think Melbourne could have played any worse. Thus, not giving them the credit that they deserve. They were sensational. But I think... Adelaide, they know they need to win this one to keep their chances of playing finals alive. So that means West Coast are going to go down. I will go four goals at the most, but this is going to maybe be a little bit tighter than most people predicted. Rightio. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, there is tipped out round 11 tips for a massive week of losers football. All right. Hey, we want to get to 500 subscribers. So we want you... If you haven't done so so far, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell,
hit the like button. Tell everybody about the Lace Out AFL podcast channel. It is fantastic. We love it. We love you. And more importantly, we hope that your team doesn't lose this weekend. But if it does, hey, there's always round 12.